What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Rich of Review Tech USA, and it's been confirmed by CNN that Rosie O'Donnell has a bigger penis than me. Today's topic is going to be an interesting one, and it's going to be interesting to see your take on it. And it always makes me laugh my ass off, literally, not the acronym. When people leave YouTube, from when partners leave YouTube saying there's too many obligations, to people who leave YouTube because they have a life epiphany, or when they meet a girl, or a guy, or whatever. I just always find it funny, because all of their reasons are BS, and I'll explain what I mean. And before everyone jumps on me, yes, YouTube is just a hobby for me too. I have fun doing it. It does help pay a couple bills, but I don't take YouTube seriously. But let's start with the partners first that leave. The excuse that partners will give their sub base when they leave because they know the subscribers don't know any better is they'll say, oh, there's just YouTube has too many obligations to your partner, man. It's just not worth it. It's exhausting. I have way too many other things going on in my life. Fail instantly. And that's usually the excuse I see when partners bail out of YouTube. Because you want to know how many obligations a YouTube partner has? None. Zero. Zip. Jack shit. All you have to do is follow YouTube's guidelines and make sure you don't put a picture of your penis in your videos. Which is tempting sometimes, but I refrain. I mean, you could even take an eight-month hiatus from YouTube if you're a partner, come back and still be a partner. There's virtually no requirements when you're a partner that you have to meet. So you're probably saying, okay, Rich, why do they do it then? And I'll give an example. This guy on YouTube a while back got a partnership for his channel, which I was surprised because he had a very small sub base and he just started the channel, but whatever, that's not the point. Anyway, one day I sign on and I watch his newest video. And it's a video where he pretends to have a dream that he's making a terrorist threat towards America. And then he wakes up from the dream and says, or maybe it's real. Like he was actually threatening the United States with terrorism. Needless to say, people freaked out. The video got thumbs down to death. And like an hour after he put it up, it was taken down. And his channel was taken down. Like instantly. By him, not by YouTube. <laughs> and then the next day, all of a sudden he sends me a message. And he's like, yeah, I got a new channel now. And the first video he has up is explaining himself and why he took down his partner channel. And he goes on to say, Yeah, man, it, it was just too much pressure from YouTube. And being a partner is a lot of work, and I have too much stuff going on in real life. And I'm like, dude, you made a stupid video. You got scared. You thought the feds were going to be on to you. You got paranoid, and you shut down the channel. There's no obligations to being a partner, man. The point being, for anyone who doesn't know, for my subs who don't know how partnership works, if any partner gives that excuse for shutting down their channel, call them out on BS, because it means they just did something stupid or they got threatened, and that's why they're running away. The second excuse that I love is when people shut down their channels, partners or not, when they say they have life obligations. Last time I checked, YouTube is free. So it's not costing you anything to keep your channel up and your videos up. You care to explain? Here's why I call BS on this. Like I just said a second ago, it doesn't cost anything to keep your channel up. So even if you're going on a business trip for a year and a half, your channel could still be there. You don't have to shut it down. It's okay. Here is my philosophy on why people do this. is because they want the admiration. They want the attention. When they make that super sad final video, people will write in the comments, please don't leave, your channel's fantastic. Please stay. You know, I don't want to see your channel go, you're the reason I come on YouTube, and all those very emotional comments they get. And it makes them feel important. And it gives that whole dramatic farewell that they're craving for whatever reason, whatever's lacking in their real life that they have to get it on here. Again, YouTube isn't charging you anything. You could keep your videos up forever and it will never cost you a penny. So even if you go away for three years and come back, why would you shut down your channel? To me, and I'll say it again, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, you did something shady, or you're looking for that last bit of attention, you want that admiration as you step off the stage. And to me, it's really corny, man. And I see right through it. You're looking for that over-melodramatic farewell that'll make you feel important. The last excuse that I love, this one cracks me up, is when a guy or a girl meets a man or a woman, and they get into a relationship, and they feel that they have to shut down their channel or stop working on their channel 
because they're seeing somebody. First off, two things, and I'm going to give a disclaimer before I start talking. I'm not a pimp by any means. I'm not a super duper ladies man. But I will say at the same time, I have no problem getting dates. I have no problem meeting women. And when I have been single and when I have been with somebody, I still made YouTube videos. And if I was too busy to make videos, I would stop making them for a while. When people use seeing someone as an excuse to close down their channel or stop making YouTube videos, it tells me that they're very inexperienced with the opposite sex and they're super excited. It's a new toy for them to be with somebody and they don't know how to handle a relationship. Because I'll tell you right now, because this one guy, I won't mention his name, he just said the reason he's stopping making videos is because he has to put 150% into his relationship. I can tell, buddy, you haven't been in too many relationships and I'll give you some advice. If you're up each other's butts all the time, the relationship is going to be a fail. And secondly, this is the second point. If you see a woman or a guy and they tell you you have to stop making YouTube videos or stop your hobby, bail. Run quick. It's happened to me before too. Obviously, you have to know how to do time management and make sure you spend enough time with them and do your hobbies and do your other things. But if they just make you stop because they're jealous of what you're doing and they feel like they're being ignored and it starts from the get-go, run quick. That's not an excuse either. Look, if you get into a relationship and you get busy, you start having kids or whatever, get married, fine. Keep your channel up and make a video once every two years. But again... It's not an excuse to shut down your channel. I call BS again. The bottom line is, and I'll end this video with this, no matter what anyone says on YouTube, there's no reason you have to shut down your channel. You're either shutting down your channel because you're running away from something, or you're shutting down your channel to get some kind of attention from people because they don't want to see you go. And you know what the funniest thing is, and I'll end this video with this actually, is that 99.9999999% of the people always come back and make a new channel. So all you people that left YouTube and came back, explain that one to me. What was so dire that you had to shut down your channel? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll let the rest of this match play out, which is like another 45 seconds. Hope you enjoyed this video and leave your thoughts on this. What do you think about when people leave YouTube? Do you disagree with me? Do you think there actually is valid reasons for shutting down your channel on a free website that costs absolutely nothing to keep your channel and your videos up on it? I'm being serious. Maybe I missed something. Maybe there's a reason I'm not thinking of right now that would be a valid reason to shut down your channel besides being threatened because of course that's a logical one. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting Review Tech USA. I'm looking forward to seeing what you think.